what steps do you take to do One moment. Hello, hello. Yes, we are here with you. We are very pleased to interact with you in this way. It is a great joy and pleasure for us to co-create with you. We speak on behalf of the Pleiadian civilization. We are Elira, and we speak on behalf of all of the Pleiadian members, all of the Pleiadian beings who come to your planet to help and assist you. Yet we also come out of a great joy and curiosity, for as we come to witness you, you as reflectors help us learn about more of all that is. And for that reason, we are very appreciative. You may continue again with your question, yes? Please reiterate shortly. We were not fully with you in the channel in that moment. Well, you must become the vibration. You must become the match of that which you desire. And you are, in a sense, already the match. Though what must happen is a clearance, a removal of certain patterns of belief and behavior that are in the way of allowing that match that already exists within you to play out in your reality and experience, yes. Do you follow your joy completely and entirely? Oh, really? Okay. You are you. Understand this. That you are yourself. Your soul is one portion of a larger oversoul that contains many incarnate aspects that are other humans in your life and that are past and future incarnations of which many play out on other planets including our home around Alcyon and so in that sense other components of your oversoul you have a deep relationship and connection with are, yes, Pleiadians. Are they elders? Well, we don't see it quite the same way you do, for we have a very different perspective of time, and we have a civilization that is totally and entirely based on principles of equality. So from your perspective, they may seem as if they are elders or are superiors in some way, some authoritative figures, though they are simply members of our race and civilization, yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything, any advice you can give to Thank you for 
Yes, we wish you all to know that you, as individuals, have the keys to hidden mysteries, yet these mysteries are not any more hidden than you have hidden them from yourselves. Within your own essence, you know and understand much more than you give yourselves credit for. Understand that when you find yourself in any depression, any sense of purgation, it is the result of a fear-based concept of lack. And when you choose love, when you choose to love yourself and allow yourself to integrate those ideas of what you lack and choose to believe that it is possible for you to meet those needs and know that you deserve to meet those needs. Know that the world around you and those within it are there to help you and you help them your world has been given many false ideas about one's independence as part of one's sovereignty. And yes, you are independent in that you possess great free will. And this is innate. Free will is a gift of love. And your sense of free will is your independence. It is your independence to choose and to create in ways that resonate with your own mission as a soul, yet as fragments of all that is, each and every fragment is interdependent upon the others to make the whole picture, and so if you feel isolated, feel cut off in your states of depression, you may come to know that you are not alone and that to reach out to those who are the most resonant matches for you and to express your needs and desires without any insistence or attachment, you will have your needs met and you will have your desires presented to you and you will generate more desires and you will generate more needs. And in this way, you will bring yourself into fulfillment. Your heavy emotional states are not there for no reason. And if you believe that you may simply sit around and be happy, changing yourself inside without the picture of your life on the outside changing, to match the change you make inside, then you place yourself in a state of complacency and stagnation. It is an active flow. It is a give and take. And as you make the changes inside, you must apply them outside. And many light workers who decide to sit around and simply force themselves into a state of happiness when they are not living in a way that brings them happiness will not live 
the most accelerated path until they choose to make those changes in their experience, yes? Yes. We caution you against the idea of transcendence. Have you not been transcending enough already? Think of it this way. You make a choice of a better feeling path, a better feeling life, better feeling relationships, and more exciting opportunities. It does not negate the other options. It does not make the other options wrong or less than. It simply shows you a pure, clean, true discernment of what makes you feel the best. Mm, Oh, we do thank you, yes, yes. I think that we as play workers, one of our core tasks are to shift the way human beings are being taught to the Oh, all right. Well, we don't use words in our civilization. This is merely a translation of waves of energy that are transmitted through the channel, and in the channel subconscious, they become your words. Yes, and because the channel deliberately puts himself out of the way, the words flow with less effort and ease. Yes. We send thoughts. We, yes, we send thoughts in the form of waves of energy. Your thoughts make waves and ripples of energy. And thoughts are much more complex than verbal language. Thoughts often include pictures, symbols, feelings, and they are generated out of the great store of beliefs that are simply repeated thoughts, repeated images, repeated remembrances that you choose. And as you come to choose them more deliberately, you can come to find that thoughts are not essentially your problem. In some of your spiritual so-called traditions, you have sought to obliterate thought entirely though we wish you to think in different terms. Think of expanding your thoughts. Think of good feeling thoughts. Thoughts in itself are not a problem. It is merely that negative feeling thoughts create negative feeling results. And in a world that has generated through collective agreements towards negative oriented thoughts, negative-oriented manifestations that generate more negative-oriented thoughts, you have done very well in choosing to lift yourself to a place of no thought. Yet, think in terms of this, that a nonverbal thought is still a thought. 
whether it is a picture or whether it is a conception of an all-encompassing light or a non-existent void, that is still a thought in and of itself. And so you will always have thought, for your reality is conjured by thought. So, I think in some other people's theories of others, we perceive our papers to expand the universe more. Yes, very much so. So, like, is this, this Earth the type of thing where we can shift in the universe from one other planet to the universe solar system? Or Yes. Earth at this moment in time is one of the most exciting, most relevant places for interdimensional beings to focus, for your Earth is at an apex point at which many timelines converge and these timelines go in each and every direction. The timelines that spread forth from these crucial periods of time, specifically the 2020, are so divergent and wide in their range and scope that many beings from many dimensions and many timelines are interested in witnessing the wide array of choices that each individual makes in generating a specific path. So yes, at this time, your Earth is of great interest, of great excitement, and your Earth is, in a sense, a master class for you, through which you develop greatly. Souls are very excited and joyful to choose such an incarnation, whether they remember it or not, upon entering their physical body, the soul was very, very enthused to come to this planet. And the reason for that is that on Earth you learn the lessons of third dimensional existence in a very vast and exponential way, and not only do you learn those lessons of third dimensional existence, you learn how to move from a third dimensional experience into a five dimensional awareness. And from that five dimensional awareness, you shift to even further and greater levels of experience while still retaining your third dimensional body vessels. And this is an experience that not many planets hold space at this time. So I'm curious, while this channel is doing all the things it using, is it making it down to the time or is it energized? Oh, he's feeling very enthralled by this experience, yes. This channel, like, It is a very energizing experience, for when you are in a channeling state, you are directly connected with source energy, and you are focused upon that infinite vastness that comes with your connection to that source energy, and as that energy moves through you without the need to focus upon outside circumstances your whole energy field comes into greater alignment and greater ease before the channel was fully capable of transmitting in this way. We and many others, you may call ascended masters, you may call angels, 
would come to the channel in moments that the channel would set aside specifically for contemplation, for meditation, if you like that term. And we and many others would adjust the channel's energy field. We would share, again, telepathic blocks of thought the channel would receive and have deeper insight into certain experiences up into a point that we deemed the channel was ready to receive these telepathic transmissions and translate them through a willingness and a focus, yes. Though it is something each and every one of you are innately hardwired to do, and in a sense this is a demonstration for once this phenomena becomes accepted for the natural feat that it is, your world will collectively be in a state of direct telepathic communication with many extraterrestrial civilizations that will begin to arrive on your planet in different ways. Many of them already are arriving on your planet now. And in that state of openness, your evolution will again take another exponential leap forward in its acceleration, and that will be very exciting for you and very exciting for us to witness. For we as humans waiting for the we will be able to decide how long a physical body means that we might have to die. And the way we can be able to twist over the issues when we want to be able to go. Yes. Think of it this way you as a soul, have already decided in all timelines the moments that you may leave your physical body vessel. And so you have always been deliberate in that choice. And now as your consciousness expands, you are coming to feel and know these soul level agreements you have already put into place. And so it may seem like you are having a more deliberate control for you are coming to know what higher components of yourself have decided for you, essentially. And yes, you will have greatly expanded life paths. We see for many of you that you may live to be some 200 or 300 years old if you do choose to agree with the evolution processes that are to come. Though we do say it is possible to evade a physical death and to transmit your energy purely into non-physical energy, yet most of you you'll not choose that, for death is a gift that you give to yourself. Death is a prime window of opportunity through which you are able to completely restructure your experience and gain more variety. You come to develop certain components of your soul, that once you perfect, you leave. And most of you will come to a place in which you consciously and deliberately allow yourself to leave in a state of great joy and excitement. And eventually your funerals will be less of a morbid occasion than they will become a celebration. And you may begin that celebration at any point you wish, you may seem perhaps a bit outcasted for this at first if you wish, but you will, if you choose, to allow this knowledge to penetrate you. Find a subtle way to incorporate that celebration, yes? So, this is 
personal personal is my theory of that one is to the Yes. Yes. Well, in alternate realities, you did die. And you chose to come back. And you did so by shifting again into an alternate reality in which the accident or circumstance that brought about your death in that reality did not occur in the same way. So you are indeed tuning into the truth that you have died already. Though because you have died in alternate realities does not mean that you should be dead in yeah. this one. Yes. What practices are you engaging in? All right. And what motivates you to choose the poses and the exercises that you choose? Yes, yes it is. And though it can only heal completely when you engage your body in a way that truly opens channels, opens the meridians, and opens the connections that are blocked or stagnated within you. Meditation means different things for different people, so we cannot say in general what meditation is about. Though we say to you that your physical body vessel has great messages for you and that when you move in ways that feel exciting, that feel helpful to your body, that bring you a great sense of relief within your body, whether it is prescribed to you in a book or whether it is something you do out of a spontaneous desire to move in a certain way is of great relevance. You would most benefit from allowing your body to teach you yoga and you do garner great reward, great understanding through the exercises that you encounter through the traditions you have mentioned though you may find more relief in your body when you move in the way your body moves you. Allow your body to move you or rather than moving your body. When you allow your body to move you first, you do so out of joy rather than out of fixing, achieving, hmm. for that energy you bring when you attempt to make something in your body that is wrong go away, actually moves the stagnation to another location. Hmm. You may temporarily relieve a stagnation in one part of your body to find it jump somewhere entirely different, for you came at your body's messages in an attacking way. It simply migrated to try and evade you. When you bring love into what you do with your body, your body will respond with more love for you.
Oh, all right, yes. Suppose. Oh, okay. If you insist. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. We do as well deeply appreciate you, yes. We do appreciate this interaction on the subject of creating, receiving money. It is of most relevance to do exactly what you believe will bring you the greatest income and to do what you find the most exciting as well. You must find an avenue that is both totally and completely exciting for you because that brings you into a state of more allowance, more attraction, and you may also do what you truly and completely believe to be the most beneficial. When you go against your own belief systems, it is like swimming upstream. When you have fully changed your belief systems, you will be at ease and enjoy in what you do. Yet if there is a sense of unease, it may be because you are attempting to do what you don't believe is truly mm. possible. Mm. All right. Well, watch out for the supposed to. Understand that all happens in natural accord. All happens as a result of manifested vibration. If it is in your energy, in your blueprint to bring forth what you say you desire, it will be your experience. As you know and place your desires in your blueprint, and hold to them, you make it easier for what you desire to come to you. In that space of 
choosing a belief in what you prefer, imagining that, and as you imagine it, to feel it as if it is already there and part of your experience. You do very well to bring yourself into that state of ease more rapidly and more readily. Oh, all right. So, In moments when tremendous emotional charges move forth into your being, it is the result of a manifestation of your own beliefs about mm -hmm. yourself. Okay. And so when you fight reality, mm -hmm. when you see what is before you and claim consciously or otherwise that it simply happened to you, that it is always what happens to me, then you reinforce the pattern. Understand that your own beliefs about yourself and your worth are transmitted subconsciously to each and every component of creation. And when you encounter a given situation that brings you to a point of great emotional disturbance, the best thing for you to realize is that the emotional disturbance was already within you, already latent, and that emotional disturbance is the result of a chosen belief, chosen thought form. When you come to identify that chosen thought form and see it as an optional, unnecessary part of your experience, you make space to choose a more pleasant thought form. And so when you come into these great states, realize that yes, it is something being purified from you. And what it is, is essentially a belief. And you come to greater and greater manifestations of that belief as you shed back more and more layers. So Yes, yes, that is very helpful. That is a part of the process, though it is easier to come with a clean energy of acceptance when you also understand that every belief system 
has been adopted for a payoff mm -hmm. that everybody is doing whether they're doing a positively oriented behavior or a negative or or negatively oriented behavior excuse the channel's tongue mm -hmm. whether anyone is doing a positively oriented behavior or a negatively oriented behavior they are doing exactly what they believe on some level will bring a helpful reward and so many times individuals will believe that they must come from a place of low self-worth so that through pity they may be pardoned many times people come from a space of believing that they are incapable of love and connection so that they may be better able to live independently. Many people choose a pattern of continual self-neglect out of the payoff in the form of sympathy, in the form of some sort of some sort of aggrandizement that they feel about themselves when they place themselves in a tight and constricted place. It allows them to feel in a way that they are receiving, whether it is from somebody who takes sympathy upon them or from a non-physical entity that feeds off of their energy want it, though for the wrong reasons. And when you can identify payoff systems that are not the most high expression of what you truly want, yet still bring you some reward, you can see the reward and choose a better way to access that reward, a more complete way to access that reward. Yes. I feel like that's what causes a lot of us to go to different levels. Um, we do have a lot of inner work, and these issues keep coming out of this first And um, th this is happening because we have a full here. Let us say this, stop trying to heal and instead allow yourself to accept. It is what it is. It is how it is. And understanding that even if you don't get what you say you want, you get what you want energetically through the vibration, the law of attraction, and the other laws of energy flow in the universe will always bring you what at other levels you have chosen for yourself as a soul. And in accepting that, 
you can allow yourself to have a more holistic perspective, have a more unified perspective. We are tempted to say the word we have suggested you to avoid, to transcend in these situations. It is perhaps similar to what you conceive of transcendence, though it is not in that you remove yourself from the situation at hand. It is that you choose a perspective that is witnessing all of the components at play, all of the factors and thought forms that have come together and coalesce in a point of now-based manifestation. We do thank you deeply for this opportunity you have allowed us to interact with you. And we do wish you to enjoy your experiences. We do wish you to choose joy and to allow that joy to motivate you to act in ways that are joyful. And we do wish you to notice the stumbling blocks along the way as gifts as well. To know that you may feel joy and feel something completely different simultaneously. And the more you allow yourself to be this and that rather than this or that, to be your full and complete spiritual wholeness as well as your learning evolving humanness you have the entire display of yourself before you and when you witness that display there is a sense of a peace beyond what can be known should you merely look from a surface level. We do thank you and we wish you the most pleasant of afternoons of your time. That is all.